You talked about oxidative stress earlier. Is treating oxidative stress one of the best ways to deal with the African AIDS epidemic? I think this is one way to approach, uh, to decrease the, the, the rate of transmission, because I believe HIV, we can be exposed to HIV many times without being chronically infected. Our immune system could get rid of the virus within a few weeks if you have a good immune system. And this is a problem also Africa, of African people. Their, their nutrition is not very equilibrated. They are in oxidative stress, even they are not infected with HIV. So their immune system doesn't work well already. So it's prone, it can, you know, uh, allow HIV to get in and uh, persist. So there are many ways which are not the vaccine, the, the magic name, the vaccine. Many ways to decrease the transmission just by simple measures of nutrition, uh, giving antioxidants, proper antioxidants, uh, hygiene measures, you know, uh, fighting the other infections. So they are not spectacular, but they could, you know, decrease very well the epidemic. To the lower, to the level they are in, in uh, occidental countries, so Western countries. If you have a good immune system, then your body can naturally get rid of HIV. Yes. Oh, interesting. Do you think we should have more of a push for antioxidants and, and things of that nature in Africa than antiretrovirals? We should push for more, uh, you know, a combination of measures, antioxidant, by nutrition advice and nutrition. Um, fighting other, uh, other infections, malaria, tuberculosis, parasitosis. Most children have worms. Um, <clears throat> uh, education, of course, uh, genital hygiene for women and men also. Very simple measure, which is not, not very expensive, but which could do a lot. And this is my, uh, actually, my uh, worry about, uh, you know, the many uh, spectacular action, of course, there are global funds so to buy uh, drugs and so on, uh, Bill Gates and so on, for the vaccine. But, uh, you know, those uh, kind of uh, measures are not very well funded, they're not funded at all. Or they are, you know, it really depends on the local government to take conscious of this. But the local government, they take advice of the scientific advisor from the international institutions and they don't get this kind of advice very often. Well, there's no money in, in nutrition, right? There's no profit. There's no profit, yes. The water is important. Water is key. Now, one thing you said, you were talking about the fact that if you have a built immune system, it is possible to get rid of HIV naturally. If, if you take a poor African who's been infected and you build up their immune system, is it possible for them to also naturally get rid of it? I would think so. Okay. That's an, import that's an important it's point. It's important knowledge which is uh, completely neglected. You know, people always think of uh, drugs and vaccine. So this is a message which may be different from the, from the uh, what you heard before, no? They're closing? No, no. They, my, yes, my message is different from what uh, you heard from Fauci or... Uh, yes. Yeah. It's a little different. It's a little different. Some people are very fortunate and they don't have these side effects. What is it? Applying the causes is it's just so what seems to be the same as the vaccine.